Hey. So there were no other instructions? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, yes or yes, no? You confuse me. If there are other instructions, what are the other instructions? To wait here for further instructions. I do not understand why you are angry. Fiona, my dear. Another echo comm. The coward has to leave a recording. Actually, this is a live feed. Oh. I altered the echo comm to receive the signal. See? I'm waving at you. You can see this, can't you? Ah, it's working. I need you to know I did not betray you. It was all simply part of a longer con that had some minor complications. It was always in the plan for it to look like the money was burned to bits. It wasn't in the plan for this armoire to be blown out of the back of the caravan and end up sitting in the middle of the desert. What are you getting at? Open the drawer. a lot of dough. The drawer contains nine million dollars. I expect you to split that money with your sister. And make sure she doesn't blow it all on guns. But I saw that case explode. When the caravan crashed, you were out cold for a bit. That's when I disarmed the Hyperion explosive and swapped the real money for fake. Then, rearm the bomb. It needed to look like the money was gone and you had nothing to do with it. Valerie, Hyperion, they would all be after it, and I had hoped that I could draw their attention away from you. See the money go and be able to blame me for it. Obviously, things did not work out that way. But I failed you. Had I planned things more thoroughly, this could all have been avoided. Now listen to me. That money will not solve everything. But it will get the both of you out of your life now and into one of your own choosing. The con game, it's not for you. Not because you aren't good at it, but simply because you deserve better. You should have a life where you aren't lurking in the shadows, afraid of being recognized, afraid of... ...of being found out. But this life... The hustle. It's all I know. And that is precisely the reason to walk away from it, while you're still young enough to do so. I'll be in touch. Give Sasha my love. Wait, no! Damn it. That is nice of Felix to leave you the money, but we are still short one team member. Please select a replacement. Team member. I kind of want Athena anyway. That's settled. Let's go get our team.
thank you for coming. Sure. I'm mostly here for the loot. I've calculated our odds of survival. And I've decided not to share the data. Probably for the best. Yeah, yeah, I did too. And uh, best to keep a lid on it, because they're awful. I am sorry to hear about your mother. She was a spirited woman. Thank you. Thought you said Sasha'd be here. <sighs> Relax, she will be. We'll catch her up when she gets here. All right, so... In order to access the mysterious treasures of the vault... Ahem. ...and assure the safety of Gordas, we gotta destroy the monster that protects us. This is the Traveler. That's the biggest vault monster I've ever come across. Oh yeah, it's big. It's nasty. It's gotta go. Any plan that kills that ugly bastard is fine by me. Well, you're in luck, then. To make matters more fun and complicated, it teleports. Yay! Hence the whole Traveler thing. That thing looks heavily armored. How do we deal with that? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually impossible to penetrate. That's why you and Sasha have to get inside. When the Traveler teleports, there's a swirl of energy at the point where it's gonna jump to. You just have to time it so that when you get the caravan... The caravan? Yeah, that's what I said. It flies now, remember? You just gotta time it so that you're inside the energy thing when the monster shows up. What little information we were able to gather seems to point to a gland, tucked in its giant tummy there, as the source for its teleportation abilities. Once you're in, you wire up the gland, weird to keep calling it that, with explosives. Trigger the remote detonator and get the heck out of there. So, what's everyone else's role? Good question! The B team, that's you guys, you're saddled with the unenviable task of drawing the monster over to this area. You get the monster toward the vicinity of this ledge, it tries to jump into range. The caravan flies into the energy swirly thing before it jumps. So, <laughs> where do I fit into all of this? You, sir, are our motivational speaker. After the teleportation is offline, we need Gordas to wrestle the Traveler into place for the Moonbeam. And that's going to require some convincing. And that's what you and Loderbot are in charge of. Well, I guess... I guess this is what we're doing. Well, sounds good to me. At least, what I heard of it. I... I thought you were dead. Get over here! We looked for you. We did. It's... It's really great to see you. Because, well, I didn't think I would. A at least not alive. So I, uh... You know, I think I... Missed you. I think I missed you, too. Uh... Yeah. Right. All right, all right, enough of whatever the hell... That was. We've got a vault monster to kill. 